there are now reports that Nike may have paid off the head of the International Cycling Union to ignore one of Lance Armstrong's positive drug tests. Today, Armstrong stepped down from his Livestrong Foundation while Nike dumped him as a sponsor. Nike denies, vehemently denies, that they bribed anyone. And they released a statement saying, in part, due to the seemingly insurmountable evidence that Lance Armstrong participated in doping and misled Nike for more than a decade, it is with great sadness that we've terminated our contract with him. So is Nike trying to cover its tracks in the wake of these allegations against them? And what does all this mean for the future of the Livestrong Foundation? Joining me for more on this is branding expert Bruce Turkel, executive creative director of Turkel Brands. Thanks so much for joining us. So let's start with the Nike issue, because it's really staggering. That 1,000-page report um, from the U.S. ADA that was released said a, the wife of a former teammate testified under oath that Nike wired money to the head of the international cycling governing body to cover up a positive drug test. Now, this was in the report, and it's kind of been out there, but it's really gaining momentum, I would say, in the past 24 hours or so. Do you think this is why Nike dumped him now, and how bad is it for Nike? Well, here's what I don't understand. Nike's known they've had a problem for months and months. They're certainly at the top of their game, and they've been planning for this. Why did they wait until it hit the fan? What do you think? Why didn't they do something months ago? They could have walked away. He could have walked away quietly. Nobody would, nobody would have cared. But now, all of a sudden, whether they did it or not, it looks like they did something wrong, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it seems like it was a really bad idea if they're just sort of waking up to this now and making this decision. Um, I, I mean, what, yeah, you have to guess. What do you think precipitated this? Do you think that we're about to find out something more? Or do you think just the buzz over this particular element is gaining traction? And so they said we need to take a strong stand, distance ourselves from him right now, and set ourselves up to deny or defend that we had a part in covering this up. Yeah, I think they had to do it sooner or later. They chose later, but maybe if they had waited longer, it would have gotten worse. I mean, yeah. we keep hearing the news reports. We keep hearing the, the people testifying about what he did. And here's the big fear, that live strong becomes lie strong. And the brand is finished. Yeah, I mean, that is the real tragedy in this, because there's been the pile-on effect afterwards. I mean, Anheuser-Busch, Radio Shack, in the past 24 hours, they have all dumped Lance Armstrong, and it just gets bigger and bigger. But the tragedy, really, is what happens to Live Strong, because it is a charity that has been a message of hope and faith and fight. Um, you know, a lot of people say it, it's the most powerful charity that was ever started by an athlete. It has spawned a movement. The bracelets are everywhere. I mean, this is the biggest part of his legacy is actually this charity. What do you think happens to it as a brand? I, I think it goes up in smoke. Oh. I mean, they sold 84 million of those bracelets. Think of what all the good they did. It now goes away. And here's the worst part. Lance did all these things over his life, things that he was known for, things that he accomplished. All of that goes away. It's the last thing you do that they remember. When the people head for the exits, all they remember is what just happened. And this brand is done. Oh, such a tragedy. All right, Bruce, thanks for coming it on sure the show. Is. We appreciate it.